So this little making each individual stroke a separate line is a real handy thing. Now say I, I don't like that, it's too thick, I want to bring it down. So I just go there and I make it 0.4. And of course you have the option, let's go back to the 8, to change it to a different stroke style here. You can go and make it one of the presets that you have so that it's not uh, a uh, pressure sensitive stroke there. You can change that if you want to. Took me a little while to get used to this whole thing of of the uh, you know you see how the, the line kind of it's almost like it's alive as I'm drawing it. It kind of jiggles around a little bit like that. Um, that's due to this uh, little setting that you have way down here, if you double click on it, it's what's called the live drag indicator. If you take that off, then you see that traditional kind of blue line, but you don't see how the thing is, is forming as you're drawing, as opposed to this. This has no blue line, but then I can see how it's coming out there. Okay, let's put the, let's bring it back up to 0.8. And there's a few more things that I haven't put on here. Let's just go into the illustration. I'm going to hide the layer where the rough was. And there's my sketch. Uh, I might tidy up these lines a little bit and make them a little different. But that's the basic thing. And as I've shown in one of my other tutorials, I'm going to take and lock the drawing layer and I have a layer underneath it which I'm going to move to which is the color layer I have some colors down here I'm gonna to go to the pencil tool and I am going to take off the calligraphy and I want now I want my lines to join up so I'm going to be doing the color and so the, since this is under a whole different layer underneath the drawing layer uh, I can take this and move it around however I want, like that. Let's get some brown hair here, go like that. And the lines, they join up very nicely. And I can go like that, okay. And so on and so forth to do the color, and then you have another layer let's say this is the background layer let's go like that let's change it to a different tone maybe a little darker so you can see things yeah you just go like that you can change your colors to I'm gonna add a little bit of a highlight here up oh, I'm on the wrong layer I gotta get up on the color layer go like this that okay there's that I'm going to go like this let's make that even darker and you just go around let's take some white and let's put it on the top of his nose for a little highlight there you go then you can of course take these and do with the paint bucket tool make a gradient where it's darker at the bottom adjust the darkness so you really start to get some nice contrast in your illustration. Take it over here, go like that, pull it over. Very quickly and very easily. And so that's uh, a little bit of a simple demonstration on using the new pressure sensitivity with uh, Zara Designer Pro 6. I hope you've enjoyed it and have learned a little bit of some of the potential of this tool and uh, I hope you like this tutorial. Okay, bye-bye.